Welcome back. Now, we know that we're in for a great feed when Dean D D Diplock from the Radisson Blue Hotel stops by. All right, Dino. Very good to good. see you, Dean. How you doing? How you doing? Today, it's something for the belly for the autumn. Oh, Keep us warm. Yeah. Keep us fed. Beef Absolutely. stew. Beef stew. Beef stew. The smell in here since about half eight this morning. Yeah, you've been Takes tempted. Time. We'll get to Takes taste time. soon. We will. Well, look, the most important thing about uh, any stew is uh, number one, the quality of meat and the cut that you're looking for, yeah. and secondly, browning it properly. Okay. So I like to use what's called the chain. It's the it's the part of the beef that attaches, uh, like the strip loin, to the backbone, for instance. It is uh, here. It is over here. You can and see. Is that it's what nice. you're asking for on your butcher? Yeah, you can go to the butcher and just ask him for that. You're looking for well marbled meat with a little bit of fat on it. Mm -hmm. You know when you have a stew and it gets you, you have that dry sawdust taste. Yes. Yeah. It's because the beef has no marbling in it. It's just too dry. You need that bit of marbling. You need that connective tissue that's going to get a little, little bit jelly uh, yeah. for out of it because you're cooking it in water for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. So this particular recipe can be done uh, either in a crock pot or a slow cook or it can be done in a cast iron pot or an ovenware pot that you can pop back straight into the oven and let it cook nice and slowly. I've been cooking with you now for four years. I think I've met this pot Almost every time. Times, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you would cry if that was out of your possession, you, wouldn't this you? This has been with me for many, many years. That's been many all moons. over the world, that Absolutely. pot. Absolutely. Does it yeah, have a is, name? It's made us very yeah, happy, this just, pot. Um, oh, my pot. I think we should give it a name. You'll have to. Come up with it and let me you know. <clears throat> OK, so I've browned off the meat. on a postcard. Uh, another important uh, good tip is to ask your butcher for a bit of lard oh. or some kidney fat or okay. some coal, and, and you, you just, you literally just grease the pan with that mm. when you're browning your beef. It gives you more of that beefy taste to it. I've then removed the beef that I've browned off, mm. and in go my onions with a little bit of oil just to caramelize them like that, and then we start building. So in goes a little bit of garlic, okay. Uh, I've spices, fresh bay leaves, and in there I've got a tablespoon of cumin, tablespoon of coriander, and eight cloves. You can wow, always okay. add a little bit of water oh, if it's starting smell. to catch a bit, oh, um, you know, because you're going to constantly cook that down all the time. Mm. All right. Now, uh, the next part of this is going to be our um, tomato paste. I've often wondered what heaven would smell like, and I think you've nailed it there now. <laughs> I think you, if I open the party gates and that smell greets me, I go, happy yeah. days. I'm me home, here. I'm oh, home, yeah. I'm home. <laughs> Cook out that uh, tomato paste for a little while so it's not too bitter uh, yeah. when it's cooking. Mm. And then uh, you can either add tomato ketchup, a good quality tomato ketchup, because they're quite high in tomatoes. But if you find it a little bit sweet, especially with the carrots, you can just use tinned tomatoes, perfectly fine. Okay. Just finely chopped. And so. if you use tin tomatoes, would you put a pinch of sugar in there? No, no. Uh, because, you know, you, you, you're trying to get away from that okay, sugar. You're to um, yeah. okay. the, the carrots are actually quite sweet this mm. time of year, so um, I wouldn't go too crazy on them. This, okay. is, a great, this is a great base now, isn't it? Exactly. It's a building and building. Bit of Worcester sauce. Worcester uh, sauce is a good ingredient. Worcestershire sauce. Um, okay, and then our holy trinity. We've got the onions already. In goes our celery mm -hmm. and our carrots. About one cup of celery to two cups of carrots. Mm. Nice and chunky. Give or take. leek in there? Or? Uh, you could if you wanted to. Um, I'm just be using a onion. Fan now. Celery is a very important part of it. Oh, is it has it really? to have a bit of celery. Right, it's okay. not going to overwhelm it, especially if you put uh, a cup in. It should be perfectly okay. fine. So we brown that off now. Our meat goes in. Now we've already done our browning of the meat, so there's mm. nothing to worry about. And there. how long did that take, Dean? Five minutes on a very high heat. Don't cover it, otherwise it starts to, to stew, stew already yeah. and the juices come out. Five minutes or one sports bulletin while you were doing the news <laughs> earlier. <laughs> in between. In between That's how we time it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In goes about a litre of uh, uh, stock. <clears throat> Again, you can buy those in any of the discount stores. They come in a sachet. Mm -hmm. Or if you're roasting at home or cooking chicken, keep those drippings, collect them in, the, in a container in your freezer, there you go. and you use that for your stew when Homemade it comes around stock. to it. Now, at this point, this can go straight into um, a crock pot and slow cook it with a little bit of beef bouillon, okay, a uh, little that you again buy. And then what I have here is one of those sachets of beef gravy. Okay? Oh, right, okay. That's going to be your thickening agent that goes in. So you just stir that in. I was just going to say, you've no flour or anything in there. There's a bit of corn flour in it's that in already that. Okay. already in it, exactly. So just set that aside. And when you're searing the beef, do you do, you do that with seasoned flour? Just no, the beef no, as no, 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 just as it is. Okay. Um, you know, this is celiac friendly now, 
but if you wanted to put flour in, it's perfectly fine. But you don't want it too thick. What you want to serve it with is a good crispy bread or some mashed potatoes that you've already tucked into. Well, you're looking <laughs> and at you me And you want to soak it up in it. I'm tucked in, too. <laughs> you I, want I to soak really into it. So All right. the lads could eat some. OK, so you're going to add the spuds. Right. The potatoes, you want a bit of a glassy potato, not too soft, not like a pink. You want to get some baby potatoes and peel them. Uh, slightly larger than the cuts of meat, so that they cook evenly together. OK. All right? And uh, you... I'm a big fan of that, of cooking the spuds in the pot with the stew. Mm. That will start going to absorb well. a lot of flavour, yeah, isn't it? That's that? a you washing up. Mm-hmm. That, <laughs> that too, that too. <clears throat> OK, so, at this point now... Let me just grab the lid here, sorry. We would pop our lid on it or transfer it to your crock pot and let it slowly cook. This we can pop into the oven, bake it about 160 degrees, turn it down to about 140, and it'll take about an hour, hour and a half uh, mm. to do. So if you have the time... But it's one of those dishes that's not going to do any harm, but it's in there for two no, hours. No, absolutely. Yeah. Just don't let it too fall apart too yes. much. Okay. Um, just before the end, about 15 mm. minutes before you serve, you want to open it up, back up again and put in your fresh herbs. So ah, fresh good. thyme, fresh parsley. That just lifts it a little bit. OK. And then just before service, Obviously, we have a little extra time now, but you guys are going to get to taste this now yes. because, as usual, we make one before. Good. We're going to pop in some lovely fresh oh, garden lovely, peas lovely. Okay. on the top of it just before service, just to give it that nice bright colour. And pop lid on again, back into the oven. Five minutes. more minutes. Five more minutes, and right. it's done. Okay. And so and that's the before. This is the after. Are you ready for this? Ba -ba 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 -ba. There you go. Sweet there the you go. Ah, he's been waiting right. for Serve that. There, right, chef. He's been waiting do. for that. Only Some since uh, yesterday when I read out the fact that you were coming in today <laughs> doing beef stew. Oh, my God. Yeah, don't be shy with, with the, the, the spices. There's more where that came from. Important wow. to put spices in, just to, to lift the flavour. Spices it's a bit are key. Boring otherwise. Okay. Um, so certainly, the most most important part, as I said, is browning the beef properly and having the right type of meat that's not too dry, with a little bit of marbling and some connective tissue, because you want that jelly taste that's going to uh, occur naturally when you cook it. <laughs> there we go. And don't forget the full recipe. Excuse me. Details are oh, up man, on the yeah. Ireland AM website where Dean will make you something very special if you call into him in the Radisson Blue Hotel in Atlanta.